crafty friends, Christina here with you from Close to My Heart. I am stopping in today to share about our National Stamping Month special with Close to My Heart, the um, Slimline Celebration. We've got some fun things that I wanted to share with you because um, of course we love stamping at Close to My Heart, so of course we wanted to have something fun and special for this month. So we have four new stamp sets and I'm gonna show you some samples of each of those stamp sets. Um, and then at the end, I'm also gonna show you a fun technique um, that I think you'll enjoy creating with. So this is the first stamp set as part of the special. It is called Mini Garden Gnomes. And um, as you can see, it's got a bunch of cute little gnomes and some accent and as well as some sentiments. You can get it with just the stamp set or you can get the coordinating dies. And I'll just pull it out here for you to see. I love that everything packages so neatly so you can keep everything nice and organized. Um, they're all, all the stamps come in these same packages and then if you get the coordinating dies, it goes right in there with the package just like you saw. And they all come on these magnetic um, sheets if you haven't got dies from us before so it makes it easy to keep them organized and not lose them. So these um, images are all the ones that, let me pull this out so you can see better, that have the outline around the stamp image so you can tell that those have a coordinating die. It's also really easy to check on the front. It'll be highlighted in the blue color. So that tells you that there's a coordinating die for that as well. Okay, so my samples for this cute stamp set. I did do a slimline card since this did say um, our specials for slimline, the slimline celebration. So I used that cute gnome here with a sign and the plaid paper here is part of our new mixing collection. It's a great variety of different plaids, um, nice warm hues like this one here that's perfect for autumn, but there's also some nice red and green ones if you are looking to do your holiday cards. So I did this traditional slimline card here with this gnome, and then my daughter even got in on the action she did. If you look at it, she did the same pattern that I did. Um, she made hers a little bit more Halloween. I love that she kind of went th with the concept of um, creating this gnome to be Wednesday from the Adams Family. You can see she even did the striped little tights there in the cute little candy cane, um, not candy cane, sorry, the candy corn hat. So um, I just love her creativity with that. So just a fun way to take um, a, just a basic stamp set and make it more Halloween if you want it to be holiday themed. Okay, so the next one here is our Thoughtful Critters. And that one, um, it's got these adorable little animals as well as the fun little sentiments in here. And I forgot to show in the other one, but each of the signs with a little pause um, to hold the sign so you can kind of put it up against one of the animals and it looks like they're actually. And then here is the card that I created with that. And so this one I wanted to show you that you don't actually have to do them as slimline cards. Um, I did this just as a standard A2 card. So it's the four and a quarter by five and a half inch and still super cute. Um, we've got the little hedgehog here on the little tree stump. Use the little balloons that's part of it. And then um, just create a standard card for our birthday. So very fun. Um, I used the hot, the autumn tones here and um, made for a fun little card. So there's that idea. Then the third stamp set is actually a double stamp set. It is sentiments, which I love. It's got two sets. So on the one side, they are um, vertical. All of them go vertical. And then on the other side, since I said it's a double stamp set, they are horizontal. So that way you have plenty of options and you can see they're nice and long. So they're perfect for slimline cards since that's what this special is all about. So I did two ways. I did one that's not a slimline card, just to show you again that you can use these stamps totally for a, just a standard card. And um, so it's this image right here that's very big and it fits perfectly going down vertically on the standard card. So that makes for a fun thing. And again, I use that same plaid paper from our mixing collection here. And then I took uh, and did do a slimline card, but instead of actually having the sentiment be lengthwise here on it, I rotated my slimline. And what I did is I continued the sentiment on the inside of the card. So you can be creative. You don't have to use it exactly as it's on here. Um, Cause if you look at this image, so here it's just slightly longer than the width of the slimline card. You can kind of see how that heart would fall off of the edge. So I just simply inked up the top portion, stamped it to the bottom part of my strip there. And then I did a separate little piece where I went ahead and stamped that bottom portion. So it just makes for a fun way to continue that sentiment through the card. And it's still in a slimline form, just a little different. So hopefully that kind of opens your eyes to kind of using it in a little different way. All right, so 
Let's look at the fourth stamp set. So the fourth stamp set is this Fishy Greetings. Lots of cute little fish here um, with sentiments. And again, like I pointed out in the other one where it's got the little sign with little fins holding it there. And I did keep it as a slim line. And I did a fun technique that I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, this nice marbled background. Get a little closer so you can kind of see how it kind of has these nice color in there. And um, so I deliberately only used items that come in the kit because you can actually get a kit. There's two different kit options with this special. One is just all of the products. So you could get all four stamp sets and the dies, as well as there's two standalone dies that I'll show you in a moment. And um, you can get those and that's a discount or you can get a whole bundle. It's a project bundle and it comes with the slimline bases, which is what I used for this card here. So it's just a white base and you get envelopes. It comes with these um, gems here for you to use. And um, you can actually create 12 cards with that kit. Um, but I wanted to make sure that with this card here, since I'm gonna show you this technique, that you were able to create it um, on your own if you liked it. So that's why I did it with um, just supplies in there. The only thing that I didn't, that you won't have in that kit is the vellum. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and move my Versa mat here so I can work on my all-purpose mat and show you how to do this. So it's a really fun technique if you have alcohol markers. So what you're gonna need are your some alcohol markers, you're gonna need a paintbrush, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol, um, some isopropyl alcohol. Um, I'm using 91% here, and I've just put it in one of these little yogurt jars. I think these jars are so cute. Um, they are perfect for if you're doing watercoloring or this technique here, because uh, they're nice and small and fit on your desk. So you're gonna have your piece of vellum. You're going to have, I recommend using a couple different colors. I'm gonna use three today of our Tribeline markers. So if you're not familiar with the Tribeline markers, it's got three different color tones. It's got the light, the medium, and then the dark. So because we're using this translucent vellum, we wanna go with the dark shades. So it actually says on the side here, this is the dark side, so we're gonna make sure we're using that dark edge. And again, this is the light, so we don't wanna use that edge. We wanna flip it over and we wanna use that dark side. So I'm gonna have all my darks lined up. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna color. It's gonna kinda of be like, if you've random stamped before and you've heard my tip on it's not so random. You kind of do it like kind of in a triangle formation. That way you kind of know you have kind of a balance. And um, I'm just gonna do a little bit here. And then you're gonna take another color. And you don't have to have all of it colored because it's gonna all blend together. But the more you have, the more deep intensity of color you're gonna have with this that's gonna show up. So you can do it however you want. There's no right or wrong. The only thing I recommend, again, is using the dark side because of this translucent color of the vellum. And when we put the alcohol on it, it's going to obviously kind of um, bleed it out a little bit. And so you're not gonna have as strong of color. So if you are using the light shade, you're really gonna have a really, really light color. So it's better to have that dark. So this is as much color as I'm gonna put on there. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of my um, alcohol. And I just kind of blot it on because I like to kind of have those streaks in there, but it's gonna start kind of blending it together. And you can paint it on there, but if you paint it on there, you're gonna kind of get smoother blending and you're not gonna get kind of this, um, this effect, this marbled effect that I got with my thing. So I'm just adding this alcohol and it's kind of making it all start running because it's alcohol marker, right? So let me move this a little closer so you can kind of see. So, and if you move it around too, it'll kind of get a different look. And so you can, if you want, go ahead and take your, if you're like, um, want to dry it really quickly you could take your craft heater and dry this but it is rubbing alcohol so it's not going to take very long to dry um, once you know it does start to dry you're going to notice it's going to start to curl up so I would say like within like five or so minutes it will dry but I love that it has that nice uh, marble effect after it's dry if you want to add in more color you could go back in with your markers and add some more color and then add some more of the alcohol um, till it gets to the intensity that you want but as you can see, like again, it just adds a really fun detail behind these bubbles of this dye. So I will, while this is drying, I'll show you those dyes. So here is the um, the bubble one here, the circles that I was showing you, this, the circle cluster that's in that card. But then we also have this fun star one, so it's a nice star cluster. These are perfect size for a slimline, but you don't have to um, use it for a slimline. You could use it on a layout, you could use it on a standard card and just only have a portion of it and then, you know, use... A, just use that portion that fits on the card and then disregard the rest of it. Um, and like I said, if you get the kit, you get all the slimline card bases and the envelopes. You get the little um, clear sparkles. 
you get all the stamp sets, the dies, as well as these two standalone dies here. So it makes for a fun way to do a lot of fun creations. So just to kind of walk you through what I did with the rest of this. So I went ahead and I cut out the circle cluster with the lagoon here. And I actually, a tip that I would share is to, you know, every once in a while save your um, piece here. You could use this to do some stenciling with. Um, it'd just be kind of a fun background. Um, you could always t just toss it too, but if you are looking to find new ways to use, use your items, you could do that. The other thing is um, that you can do the reverse. So then I, after I did this technique here with the marbled alcohol markers, I went ahead and I cut it out with that same die. And so I have now, I could use this on another card because I use the interior pieces for the inside of those bubbles. So you can get double the use out of that one cut. So something to keep in mind when you're doing it. And um, usually with vellum, it's kind of tricky on how you're gonna go ahead and adhere it. And so I would recommend our liquid glass is really great. You could go ahead and actually paint that on so it's a nice smooth. But I actually just used our tape runner. Um, it does leave some dots behind here. I'm not sure if you can pick up on that or not. But I actually kind of liked that because I have that texture kind of going with that marble effect. I felt like any of those dots that would show through with my adhesive, that was fine with me because it added some more texture um, to my card, which is what I was kind of going for. So just a little tip there for you on if you're going to go ahead and you know glue on the inside pieces of those clusters. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you you know learned something new that you're going to try. And just to kind of give you a heads up, next week I will be sharing, we have some new card front stencils. I'm going to be sharing some ideas with these. So um, look forward to that. And if you have any questions or any comments, just leave them in the comments and I will um, get back to you. And thanks so much for sharing your time with me today.